you know, if there's one thing I can say about human beings, that's you can guarantee one thing, and that's they don't listen. Doesn't matter what you're talking about, doesn't matter how smooth it is, doesn't matter how life changing it is, doesn't matter if it's an invention that you're showing them that they've never seen before. They won't actually be paying attention. They will not be listening to you. I had this new first contact in Facebook and I've gotten rid of most of you motherfuckers because no one's paying attention. So why should I even bother? But this, I give a little bit of a chance to people. They say they want to be my friend. Well, and then they go through a bit of an investigation process and then I track them and then I watch them and 99% they just sit there and do nothing. Even though I might've warned them saying, you got to do a like, you got to do a comment, you got to do a share, you got to participate. You know, I'm through with non-participation. I'm through with people on the sidelines and I'm through with friends who will not even share a post of me trying to actually bring my work into the world. Like, fuck, do you know how many people that I promoted over the years and put their stuff forward and they never did anything back? These are like people who are really well thought of and you think, man, you think they'd be understanding of a minimum understanding of exchange. Yeah, that's where things are a little bit off in this middle earth, right? So here's this new person and I try to get to the point. I try to say, this is what I'm doing. I've got this new time device. I've got this plan. I've got this system and I'm sharing maps. I'm sharing the freaking time translator and the person doesn't acknowledge anything. They're in their own world, they're in their own bubble and the way they're writing, it's like they're not reading anything I'm saying. And so I've come to a point where I kind of gauge this, I kind of understand this, I kind of know if someone's kind of following me. And I, in the beginning, nice, giving everything I can, I'm reading what they're saying, I'm responding to what they're saying, but I'm putting forth what the reason why I would like to engage with them to see if there's any interest. And if someone doesn't respond or acknowledge really anything I'm saying, then that to me is no interest. And to me, I don't want to talk to people who have no interest after being shown something. It's like if you're back in 19... I don't know, 100 or 1890 when the car first started, is coming out and the inventor of the car is trying to show people and they're just looking to find people who go, hey, it's a good idea. Maybe I'll participate. They're all riding around on horses and you're talking about this car and you're talking about the four wheels and you're talking about the engine. And you're talking about how it's going to change the nature of our whole way of life. And the person's like, well, I've got a nice horse and I'm going over here to buy my milk. And, you know, you realize quick that the person's not paying attention or not listening or not getting what you're saying. And so there's no reason to continue because for the most part, they're generally asleep. It doesn't matter how smart they are. It doesn't matter where they are. It's how dense their bubble is. How open are they for new information? Do they see the evolutionary tracks our species needs to go forward together? Or are they just lost in their own world, right? Because that's what it comes down to. I've talked to so many people about the problems of the world, the bigger problems, and they always respond from personal space. They always go, well, it's not affecting me, or I'm going to do it this way, or I'm in this, this. It's not, that is not the answer. Reprogramming your personal space, reprogramming it so it can accommodate one-on-one -on -one space, group space, community space, and sacred space. We need to create a shared community space that has been destroyed, taken over by the group spaces. That's like one of the most fundamental things you got to understand about the, the depth of the brainwashing. I mean, you guys aren't even getting the top layers of the brainwashing. The, one of the deepest is the whole conception of time and how it works from a linear to a cyclical way. If you don't get that, if your mind's running linear and you're trapped in the fear paradigm, good luck on trying to really get to where your spiritual evolution needs to go. Good luck on that one. Like that's really going to go well in my books. But again, you know, I, 
I don't think people are going to like me too much. And right now, I don't particularly freaking care because I've been saying a few things for a while that no one's paying attention to. And now it's happening. And now I'm just watching. Huh? It's going to get worse and worse and worse until we learn to self-organize in a completely different manner than the old paradigm. You cannot win in the old paradigm. You cannot win. You cannot even exist anymore. They're just going to go more and more control mechanisms until we rise up and say no. doesn't matter what they're talking about. There's a war going on here. And most of you are like so asleep as to who the real culprits are, what is actually going on, and how we need to defend ourselves. That's my thought of the day.